so Aritra, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hello, I'm uh, Aritra Jana, and I'm presently a fourth year uh, student of chemical engineering at uh, Jadavpur University. And uh, I recently got placed in Exxon Mobil as a graduate engineer trainee. Uh, can you tell me like how many rounds were there uh, for Exxon Mobil? So primarily there were three rounds. Was the aptitude technical, uh, followed by a group discussion, and followed by the main interview. Can you uh, you know shed a light like how difficult was the aptitude round, and you know the candidates who are appearing the next year, or you know what subjects they need to focus themselves on. So uh, uh, as far as the important topics are concerned, I would say heat transfer, fluid mechanics. Uh, uh followed by some basic uh, knowledge of chemical kinetics reaction engineering these were some of the important topics i would say like if if a person is uh, comfortable in uh, general with the chemical engineering they've studied so far there's no need to study too much uh, in uh, too much in depth into any particular topic just a good general knowledge uh followed by the ability to you know uh, link concepts together trying to recall them together uh, uh that's that's more important in order to clear the technical uh, i mean uh, other than the time uh, time crunch there wasn't really any question which was too difficult as such um and uh, the english was also pretty uh, pretty comfortable for me so so how was your overall experience of the gd round so uh for the gd round what i would say is a lot of people think that uh, having a good communication skills in english is much more important uh but i would say rather than uh, being able to communicate in english it's more important that you can communicate well and apart from that a lot of people have this misconception that to clear the gd you have to be loud you have to you know in a certain sense dominate uh, the peers present along with you in the gd that that would be absolutely the incorrect uh, way to approach at least exxon mobil's gd so the moderators who were present in the gd they uh gave all of us a chance to speak so it was like uh, we were all assigned a number and we were uh, going in a uh, uh, in a certain order so we would speak in that order all of us were given i think around 2 minutes to speak uh, um and with that i would say do not jump into it speak slowly but make sure that what you're speaking it's it's a unique perspective that you're offering to the uh, discussion uh you're able to uh, and along with that i think what i did different in the gd was that instead of uh, just me speaking what i think of the topic it's important that you're able to connect the ideas that others are speaking as well you are bringing in their ideas acknowledging it that uh, let's say xyz has said something you're saying that okay you you added you said this point and i would like to add my point as well uh, uh, to your perspective so i think that's uh, quite an important uh, Uh, thing to do because it shows that you are listening as well instead of just trying to it just waiting for your turn to speak uh, so uh, my gd topic was uh, digital detox is it a necessity in uh, the times that we are living in right uh, can you shed a light on the you know the types of questions that were asked and you know were the questions more uh, project intensive or subject intensive and your overall experience so in the technical round it was uh, so how it started was the uh, first uh, like uh, let me into the zoom meeting uh, my interview was uh, in an online mode so they let me into the zoom meeting uh, they first in the panelists introduced themselves said how long they were working in exxon what they were doing and then they just said that uh, please introduce yourself and uh, along with that uh, tell us about the summer internship that you did uh, that's how it started so initially i just gave a very brief introduction uh, uh, into my summer internship So I didn't really go into much detail, and then they later uh, probed as to what I actually did in my internship. But then I went into further detail, explained what I did, and uh, then they asked follow-up question. But the follow-up question wasn't really that uh, uh, that difficult in a certain sense. They just uh, so one question that they kept asking me was how I applied uh, chemical engineering into each project that I did. Uh, uh, coming to the question that was it more uh, technical or was it more project based? For me, it was definitely more project based because I had a lot of projects on my CV. one proper technical question that they asked me which was uh, what is the significance of lmtd in heat exchangers so that's a pretty standard question which uh, uh, a lot of my classmates were also getting uh, who were uh, into the interview round so uh, the hr questions were actually pretty standard like uh, uh, like uh, one question which comes to mind was like uh, they had asked me how Uh, uh like tell us about a, a time in which i had a conflict with a, a team member who was working with me on a project and how like i resolved the conflict and what was the result of the resolution that i came to so that was a pretty standard question another question that me asked that they asked me was uh, mention a time in which i was taken uh, out of my comfort zone how i adapted to it and what was the ultimate uh, like work which i was able to do 
uh, my sort of strategy during the HR round was that uh, since, like I said, I had a lot of uh, projects that I did uh, during my undergrad. So it, it's it's not really possible uh, for anyone who has multiple projects in their CV to, you know, able to tell the interviewers about every project that they did. You'll be at most be able to tell maybe one good project that you did, maybe a summer internship or could be some other project that you did. So I was actually able to tell them in detail about two projects that I did. One was my summer internship and along with that another project that I did. But I had a couple of uh, more projects as well. So my idea was that uh, I would like to answer the HR questions in a certain way that uh, I'm able to link these other projects that I have and kind of, you know, uh, tell them that uh, a certain pro- certain question that asked me, I wanted to answer it using that project. Like this, this was a problem that I encountered during this project, and this is how I tried to solve it, and this was the final result of. Our juniors will be given uh, will be giving the you know exam interview in the coming years. You know, so do you have any suggestions for them? At the end of every interview, you'll be asked, uh, "Do you have any questions?" So uh, always make sure that you have some kind of a question and make sure that the question leaves an impact with, uh, to the interviewers. So that was that is uh, something I would uh, like to tell them. Like at least my interview experience was that I don't really think that a very in-depth technical knowledge about anything is required to crack Exxon, but you have to be confident uh, with everything that you know. Apart from that, uh, good communication skill is quite important, I believe. So kindly introduce yourself to our viewers. Hi everyone, I'm Treyuchi. Currently I'm in my final year of uh, Bachelor's of Chemical Engineering at Jadavpur University. Uh, in the APTI, Around, what will be the topics people will be uh, giving more focus? Like for general aptitude, what we usually do in engineering colleges is like practice from various online sites which are available. That is India Bakes or Crepe Insta. There is also Exam Veda, very like popular for technical aptitudes, like for core yes. chemical engineering. Things you need to focus for general aptitudes, mainly the arithmetic part, mainly consisting of like numericals from speed, time, distance, then followed by profit and loss then compound interest, simple interest, the boats and the stream sum, like the missing numbers, number system and this like this other like general quants question mm-hmm. followed by I remember like in the uh, BA section that is the verbal ability section there weren't any reading comprehension it was mainly no sorry there wasn't any grammar there were only reading comprehension like around uh, three to four reading comprehensions were there and uh, followed by that there was the like LRTI round for LRTI like you know like the arrangement is very important part so you can practice mm-hmm. arrangements from like uh, on this India Bigs or Exam Veda and also Prep Insta is actually very nice okay. you can give like online tests like these are very helpful for like if you have an issue with time management and mm-hmm. stuff uh, and for technical app the technical app the exam veda is a, like a very popular site to practice from yeah. uh, apart from that the core topics you need to focus on will be mainly thermodynamics we had questions from the different cycles of thermodynamics and the graphs related to it uh, and there was questions from heat transfer mass transfer cre and also basic fluid mechanics questions there were one or two like even small small sums which are actually asked. So, uh, how was your experience with the GD round? Like, what will be your suggestions for the upcoming matches? Like, uh, my GD question was like the uh, transfer of the movie business from theatre to platforms it's mm-hmm. whether it is a boon or a pain my personal suggestion would be first like uh, jot down the points one two three points which you need to speak at first when you have to like when you are given the chance to speak uh, like you can rebuttal in between if you have a different opinion but you can also maintain a neutral gra- ground you don't need to be for the topic or against the topic you can play it diplomatic mm-hmm. and for the conclusion like conclude it properly because the conclusion actually matters because like they see how you conclude the topic and whether the time limit the time limit was very important in our case because we were given hardly few seconds to conclude and we had to conclude within it because uh, if we uh, like exceeded the time limit we were like forced and 
they went on with the next candidate uh, what was the personal interview like first we were asked to introduce ourselves my panel consisted of uh, three uh, people and like they were very they, at first only they said that they, there will be cv based questions only so like they said we all three have your resume and like then they asked questions from my internship my training and followed by that from that topic of the training and internship they asked technical questions also i had one non code internship but they didn't ask any question from that my uh, interview purely core based and from my training and the project i did uh, and uh, my suggestion would be like uh, thoroughly go through the your internship report and the training you did because they will ask questions from that there will be technical questions from that you are basically narrowing down the scope for them and they will ask mm-hmm. questions from that and the questions can be a varied range like in my cv they i mentioned that i worked uh, like with a software name Ansys Fluent, and they asked a lot of questions like why why simulation is being done and why not theoretical design, and like how this software is different from other software which are used for designing and stuff. So, and also another thing for Exxon is that like be well prepared with the HR questions. There will be HR questions, and most of them will be situation based. Like few questions I remember were well, explain a situation where you faced a conflict with your colleague or your batchmate uh, during your internship or training, and there were some questions like a challenging a situation you faced in your life. So then I I uh, like asked them like whether it should be in general or it should be from an instance like from my CV only. So they said it will be better if you stick to your CV. So the CV and the resume is very important in case of exam because they will uh, hardly stick to it only. First they won't ask anything apart from the CV. They will like ask questions from. But you need to go through your CV very well. Even if you are mentioning any club activities you were in or any extracurricular activities, they will. Ask you questions from that. Uh, so, Megha, can you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm Megha Das. Currently, I'm a fourth-year chemical engineering undergraduate from Jadavpur University at Kolkata. And uh, recently, I got placed in Exxon Mobil and oil and gas giant. So, you know, yes. which subject should the candidates be focused on to crack the technical questions on the aptitude round? Okay. So, the technical round had basically 30 questions, and we were allotted 30 minutes uh, for answering. and uh, what i got to know by answering the questions that uh, the difficulty range was from easy to moderate and the topics which you have to keep in mind are like from thermodynamics uh, then reaction engineering as well as uh, fluid mechanics a bit of heat transfer was also there so yeah these are the core chemical engineering concepts you have to have yeah actually for the apti round uh, there's some uh, websites like the india bix and uh, also the exam was conducted in two cubes platform so they also have some questions uh, in their websites so i had just uh, gone through those uh, okay. actually in the apti round uh, it had 60 questions and allotted the time allotted was 60 minutes so basically here the questions are solvable but the thing is the time limit that's the only crunch you have here okay time so limit how, like uh, how well, like what was the level of the questions that were asked in the aptitude test uh i'll say from uh, easy to moderate Okay, so now uh, how can you know candidates prepare for this gd round the first and foremost thing is you have to be calm and composed while you are participating you have to listen what other group members have to say and as well as you have to give your unique opinion into the group discussion basically it's something you are discussing uh, the difference is only in a group so you should hear what others have to say and give in your uh, opinion accordingly and also you should respect others uh, view because uh, in a gd you will be assessed on uh, how you can be in a team how you can perform as a team and whether you are team player or not and another thing i would like to add is that uh, in many um, resources before pa- uh, participating in the gd i had seen that uh, they say that you can uh, speak at the very first you can begin the gd that's the best thing you can do but according to me i feel uh, more important is you speak logically you speak uh, sensible things uh whatever uh, wherever you speak uh, that doesn't matter yes. so uh, can you share the light on the you know the types of questions that were asked in the technical round uh actually it was the personal interview round and uh, that had basically both the technical as well as the hr round 
together so initially they had just asked me about a, a like a short introduction of myself so there i had included about the projects which i had done and my internship which i had done so since my internship was from ken oil and gas an upstream industry which had a same profile with exons so they were more intrigued to answer questions uh, like to ask questions from uh, my internship so they asked me about the role which i had uh, played there about my learnings about my contributions which i had uh, given while doing my internship and also they uh, tried to understand uh, what relation uh, or else how could i relate the chemical engineering subjects which i had learned theoretically with my internship so and uh, from the technical questions they had asked me this liquid allocation in a shell and tube heat exchanger and also uh, they had asked me to draw the pump characteristics curve so any specific hr questions that you remember okay so firstly they had asked me uh, to answer the hr questions following the star method that is s for the situation t for the task a for the action which i took and r for the results so the questions which now i can recall are like they had asked me about my greatest regret in life uh, then they had asked me that in a team there is some conflict and how will you resolve that conflict again another thing was something challenging which had occurred in my life and how i, I resolved it or if i couldn't then if you want to give any suggestions for the juniors you know who will uh, again give the exon interview the coming year and all so my first suggestion will be be confident while you give the interview uh, and also be your true self suppose you don't know an answer to a question or something just uh, say that you don't know the answer but yes also add that you will look up uh, look at uh, look upon the answer and you uh, make sure that you know the answer because they just want a genuine person to be coming to their uh, workplace so make that uh, make that assurance to them i did a bit of research about the company like what the company's work is like how uh, what are the projects they are involved in what are the products they are selling in which uh, places their uh, plants are located or whatever like do a bit of research about the company so that you know when they ask you questions like why you want to join us or uh, what's the motivation behind you interviewing with us you can just state these facts so that it may like it looks that you really are interested in the company it gives them that assurance that yes this person is really interested to join and that will give them you know sufficient reasons to choose you and hire you as a perfect candidate